the past 20 years, the emerging field of science known as transgenics has evolved from genetically engineered food to the more complex and complicated field of transhumanism, where animal DNA can now be spliced into human DNA, creating the promising yet frightening possibility of a new form of human. We are going to be able to do things with genetics. We'll be able to heal our bodies. We'll be able to make ourselves stronger. Uh, there was a great deal of promise that was emerging quickly and the science to back it up, at least in theory. Animals can also see into areas of the light spectrum that we cannot see into. Uh, and that is viewed in transhumanism as a future benefit and even one of the causal reasons we would want to merge ourselves with the animal kingdom so that we can open these new modes of perception into realities that right now we are blinded to. Professor Francis Fukuyama uh, reviewed emerging fields of science and then the philosophy of transhumanism in which he considered the combination of those two to probably be the most dangerous science and technological and philosophical concepts in the history of mankind which he believes could very quickly lead to an extinction level event. In the way that in the past between the Soviet Union and the United States we were in an arms race over nuclear arms, transhumanism is the, is the near future arms race and it, is, and it is considered to be of such importance that the top scientific mind at the Pentagon put out a press release recently called Jason's Fear Brain Modified Foes in which they were talking about this technology in the hands of our enemies uh, and what they were saying was we have to get at the forefront of this technology. See this is how we're going to be forced into this. It's not a matter of whether we should or whether it's ethical. We have to do it. Uh, in terms of what transhumanists are aspiring to through the use of these new sciences, biotechnology, nanotechnology, neuropharmacology, they all have great ology names and ism names, um, but what they, what they may do is lead us literally into the fulfillment of biblical prophecy.